So I just found out some plans for Parramatta Light Rail Stage 2 and also for this Green Square Light Rail to make a trackless tram. And just like in Moo Transit's video about the Roville trackless trams, the idea is just so dumb that it just needs to be put on Griffin Fails so that Susan doesn't demonetize the main one. So, Parramatta Light Rail Stage 2 is basically a plan to extend, or basically just make a new branch line off of the existing plan for the Parramatta Light Rail near Camellia, near where the um depot was already branching off, which, by the way, deserves its own video. I mean, they bought contaminated land that had been an asbestos plant for, like, 50-something years and then expected to build a depot for a fleet of trams for a whole city to use for another 50 years possibly to come and it's just so stupid that people think that it's going to be more cheap for you know Parramatta Light Rail Stage 2 to be a trackless tram which requires its own fleet of buses its own depot it, its own whatever you know <laughs> And it's just like, why? What for? Because the depot for the whole network is right on where the branch line is coming off from. You have direct access. And if anything, this will probably make the depot a lot more effective because now you have a lot more areas for it to go to. It's, it's better suited for stage two than stage one. I found this photo online of... Basically, the closest you can really get to one of these trackless trams. They're just a big bus. Um, but, yeah, it looks a lot like a Citadus X05, and I thought that it fit for it. So, another proposal that I've found is that City of Sydney, over a couple of years now, has been buying up uh, land along um, some roads towards Green Square for a possible light rail, which would be very cool to see. Um, but now there's also a proposal to turn that into a trackless tram back from 2019. Again, what is the point? You can just link it up with the already existing light rail network on the L2 and L3. And also, it's kind of funny that, like, $40 billion is just being wasted <laughs> on a light rail that's never going to come, and a trackless tram that'll also never come. This is basically the exact same situation that Sydney was really in when we got the monorail. It's the worst option, there's no reason for it, and there's a perfectly good tram network right next to it the whole time. In fact, when it came out, most of the comments on like news articles just were going to call it a second monorail. If it really went ahead, it would be super stupid. If the state government really didn't want to do a light rail, then they could just do, like, some BRT stuff, such as, like, the B-Line or the T-Ways. The T-Ways are really good and they're pretty underappreciated. Or even just, like, some metro bus services, since they're pretty effective, not gonna lie. There is quite a lot more that I'd love to talk about regarding trackless trams, but Moo Transit basically already went over all my points in his video go watch it it's uh pretty good moral of the story please stop trying to propose this garbage it's never going to happen if you want more information join the greg head <laughs>